Hey guys, you're watching Boondocking with Dennis. A little bit of an overcast day going on so far. I uh, wanted to tell you a story about when I was dog sitting. And this was not my idea. I saw it on a YouTube video. We're at Fulton Harbor, by the way. They are setting up for the Oyster Fest, and that starts tonight. So the dogs would not eat their food, and I figured they were uh, missing their mother. So I tried this thing where they had three different kinds of food. So up on the counter where they couldn't quite see what was going on, I made a production out of mixing the three foods together from different bags and they were watching me the whole time then I opened up the spice drawer she had a cabinet there with all the different spices in it and with the lid still on the spices I started adding different spices to the uh, dog food I did actually add a tiny bit of sea salt because I figured they, they would taste it. It would make it just taste different. And then I got out different, uh, I think there was a soy sauce in there. Made a big deal out of putting that, pretending I was tasting it. And then uh, adding a little more. And then uh, stirred that all up. Then I got some uh, shredded cheese out of the refrigerator. Just, a, I mean, just a little bit. And I put that in there and put it all in the microwave for like 10 seconds, brought it out, pretended I tasted it, put it back in the microwave another five seconds, pretended to put some more spices in it, and then made noises like it was the best thing I ever ate in my life. Well, then I took the spoon and I got a little bit of the food and I fed it to one dog who loved it. And that automatically means the second dog loves it. They don't even need to taste it. They just want what the other one has. So fed the second one a little bit. And then I put the bowl down. And the food that they wouldn't eat, that just had a tiny bit of cheese to it and a little bit of salt, was all of a sudden the best thing in the world. So maybe try that with your dog, guys. Sometimes you got to fool them. I'm sure it works on uh, human beings as well. I have been watching videos from a channel called Everything Shakes, and he makes shorts and, you know, one or two minute videos about various types of shakes, like milkshakes, protein shakes, all different ingredients. He'll use cereal, uh, literally hundreds of different ways to make a shake. And uh, yeah, check that channel out. So my friends at Everything Shakes, Roll my intro. And there's your postcard right there. <laughs> you know, I watch a lot of YouTube. And I notice people do fake videos and try to pass them off as real. They'll do the police pullovers with a rented cop suit and, you know, I told the cops this and I told the cops that. In real life, guys, that's... Don't argue with the cop. Go state your case before the judge. I, I've run into a, a few bad cops in my life. I've also run into hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of really good cops. Um, 
even the good cops know there's some people that shouldn't be on the force that are, you know, jackasses. If you're a jackass in life and you become a cop, you're just going to be a jackass cop. It's the way it works. You're going to run into them. Just like you're going to run into a, a bad lawyer and a bad judge and a bad person that works at the bakery. You know, mo most everywhere you go, people are going to be nice. But there's videos out there where they just create drama by being aggressive towards the police to get a reaction. And uh, the best thing you can do with videos like that is not watch them. They don't get the views. They don't get the money. Uh, they'll move on to something else. That's just my old ramblings. Policemen have a very dangerous job. Always give them the benefit of the doubt. Must be trash day. That is some calm water today, guys. I was going to head over to Port Aransas today, but they said it's going to remain overcast. Uh, better weather tomorrow. I like going to the beach, big beach, when it's sunny. It really picks up the colors of the ships. And, uh, yeah. Trying to decide if I'm in this truck's way. Let me move. Look who's hiding in the shrubs. Begging from the fishermen. It's Eugene. <laughs> this is a curlew. And you can see he has a bad left leg. Looks like the knee doesn't bend. And when they're on land, they're looking for some insects to supplement their diet. Did I tell you guys about the oyster that got injured here the other day? That was horrible. They had to call a clambalance. <laughs> There's a SpongeBob joke there for you. Thanks, SpongeBob. Eugene just got fed by the nice fisherman. So he's pretty happy. And then Eugene ran off the other Eugene. <laughs> I notice in most cases, the blue herring don't like other blue herrings around. Pretty sure they're all named Eugene. There is an egret over there. And I went down to one of my regular spots right by the flagpole. And... There's a lot of mosquitoes. So I thought I'd come over here. And I like my water view. I'm facing into the sun to get a little bit of sun. It's about 70 degrees, but I'm also blocking the nice breeze. So we'll see. Maybe we can get a dolphin come visit us while I'm eating lunch. Yeah, dolphin, 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 dolphin. This is not a bad spot for a nap at all. Room with a view. <laughs> no dolphins around today. They must have ordered Uber Eats. Just a little bit under the weather today. Worked overnight the last two nights and probably need tonight to get up on my sleep. Enjoying the day. Filming. Watching the boats. Like ships that pass in the night. Good, uh, good TV series. I'm watching uh, Reacher on Amazon Prime. It's free with Amazon Prime if you have Amazon Prime. Good solid TV show. I'm three episodes in. My friend uh, had recommended it to me. Well, guys, 
There's Eugene uh, number three. This, this is a good fisherman. He always takes care of Eugene. Thanks for riding along today, guys. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.